everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this loaded gift card holder, I guess. It's kind of a card in a card. I wanted a way to give a gift card, but just not in a, you know, the normal envelopes. And I've made gift card kind of, you know, cards in the past. But I, yeah, I just was playing around and come up with this. So it fits in a six by six envelope. So it's a nice square shape. You could shrink this down to a five by five, four by four, and you could go bigger if you like to do eight by eight size cards as well. So like I said, this is six by six and it opens up and it stands up nicely like so. So this is nice for obviously if you're sending gifts in the post and you want to combine the card and the gift card all together then I thought this was just a nice way to present it. So the idea is is that the gift card is on this one here so when you flip it over I haven't brought my gift card yet I've got two to get but I do have this little gift card size card and just with a glue dot you will stick that onto there okay and then obviously it will just slide in the pocket in the front let me take that off now because you see we know what we're doing and it will just slide in your little pocket there and you can just see there just how pretty that is i've used the jolly holiday collection with the papers and just fussy cut these kind of little images the 25th and that they're all on different paper packs and just continued that same mat on the back there this one's lovely see all those trees how they're all shine and then also within the pocket is a four by four card so this I then thought I would then write to, you know, Merry Christmas, I'll stamp something in there and just write a nice little message. So it was kind of all combined together. So they can have, obviously that can be on display and then that can also be next to it if they wanted or they can just keep it all together. But I just thought this was just, yeah, just another nice little way to present gift cards and cards and um, obviously, you know, easy to post. So I do need to get some string around my ribbon there um, on that front of that card, but I, I want a nice kind of silver um, wired kind of string. So I need to get some just to finish that off. But again, on the front there, I've just put this on some foam adhesive and yeah, just that's what it is. I think it's really quite sweet. So I'm gonna pop that to one side. Okay, so you're gonna need, just make sure everything's in frame. To make your card, you need a piece that is six by 12, okay? And then along the 12 inch side, you want to score at three and at nine. Okay, and then you're going to need for your mini little card here, so this is four by four, I just cut this from a piece of eight by four cardstock, scored along the eight inch side at four, fold it in half and it gives you that. The mat on top of this is three and um, three and three quarters squared, okay, it just gives you that nice frame. Then all of kind of the mats and layers and bits and pieces, so for the pocket inside this piece here, you need a piece that is you want it to be just shy mine is six but i'm going to take a slither off of it on my trimmer okay but if you know just if you're cutting it you want you know, yeah i mean five and seven eighths is too much you want that kind of in between you literally just want to take a slither off which i'll do in a minute but that's by three inches then you will have your mat to go on top of that which is two and three quarters by this is five and three quarters and that is going to stick on top like so then to mat your main piece on the back, so this big mat at the back there, that is a piece of five and three quarters squared. It's really, I love this one. Again, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a shine and a texture. All of the white reindeers, they all sparkle. And then for the triangle pieces that I've got here on each of these kind of side panels, you want, now it depends, you may need four pieces. If you've, got, if you've got a paper that's directional, so this here was directional for this one with the Christmas trees. So I actually needed four pieces because of the direction you're cutting. Obviously I can't turn that upside down because it just, it doesn't work. Whereas with these ones, we'll be able to because it doesn't matter which way this paper goes. So if it's directional paper, you'll need four pieces of this size. But if it's just patterned like this and it doesn't matter, then you only need two. And they are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay, then to make the kind of little gift tag part, you need a piece of cardstock which is two and three quarters by four and a half, and then you want these mats to go on top, which are two and a half by four and a quarter. And I've got two, so that's the one on the front, which is going to be the decoration, and then that's the one on the back, which I'll add the little glue dot with the gift card itself on. Now, I've also just die cut this little um, circle from my punch here, 
which is that's about a one inch yeah one inch circle there and I'm basically just going to stick that on the top there just to finish off the gift tag really you can see there how it looks again it's got that little button on the top there it looks really really nice and that is it okay so let's just get rid of that scoreboard okay so first of all with your actual main card you just want to burnish those score lines just make sure everything's nice and straight and it all lines up then what we're going to be doing okay so at the moment we've just got a gatefold card what we're going to do next is we're going to cut from say the, the left hand side we're going to cut from the top left down to the bottom corner and then on this side we're going to cut from this one down to this bottom corner and the easiest way to do this is just with my trimmer so I'm going to flip this one over so this is the one on the left and I'm going to pop it on an angle and I'm lining up the score line here in my where my trimmer will close or well, where it will cut and then I've got the point of the card just down here you can just see it there so just make sure you get those points perfectly lined up and then just cut that piece off okay and then we've got a nice side there and then this one so you're always going from the top of the card and then across down okay so again pop it in top of the card with that score line make sure they're both lined up like so obviously keep these pieces there handy for scraps but now we have because we need the trimmer again in a minute but we have that style to the card okay then with those two pieces that are for these we're going to now make these triangles so these were your uh, two and three quarters by five and three quarters what you want to do is on one of them you want to cut from the top left to the bottom right so that's what I'm going to do on this one like so okay and on the other one you want to cut from the top right down to the bottom left okay like so okay so that's all of those pieces so now I'll just leave that one there I can get rid of my trimmer we can start sticking everything together so first of all I'm going to stick this one down so this is our main mat and that's going to go right in the middle of the card there like so and again I absolutely love 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 this print so I'm going to get this one stuck down first okay so just pop some wet glue on there and you should have a nice one eighth of an inch border and with that pocket piece here this is the one you just want to take a very small amount off now the reason I say so is if you sit that inside the card now as it is and fold over the sides they will catch it just won't look you see there it just doesn't quite go so I'm just going to cut a slither off so it's not quite one eighth of an inch you can just see what I've taken off there so now if I sit that one back over the top you still want it to cover that mat but before you stick it down just make sure that your sides go over see again it's still a little bit I can still afford to take a tiny bit more off and the good thing about this trimmer is you can take the smallest amount I mean look at that without it even buckling this was the best investment I've done in a long time I absolutely adore that trimmer or guillotine should I say so now yeah see now that's perfect because what happens is it actually pushes it slightly and then they both fold down so you yeah, it's still buckering a little bit there you can probably still take a little bit more off there you go perfect when you close down the side you want this to still stay flat okay so next I'm going to grab some of my red tape and just run a strip along three sides of the card okay and then again very carefully line up the bottom make sure you get this you know perfectly lined up and then the rest will kind of all fall into place like so this one here I've already popped some adhesive on I'll just show you what I've done there so again just with those fussy cut images season's greetings I've got some stockings the same little reindeers there and then the 25th of December and um, like I said loads of times before if you've got paper packs and they come with those kind of you know um, oh gosh what's going on here there we go and they come with you know the little kind of die cuts and stickers and things like that they're brilliant you know it's really good value for money because you don't have to then go out and buy more embellishments to match you've got everything already there so take those off well this one's stuck to me okay 
and then this one will sit nicely if you line it up with this mat okay so the side of it I'm lining up with that because it's it's that detail making sure things like that kind of all sit together that just finish the whole card so there we go you see now all of this runs nicely together and it all still folds over perfectly but now we've got a really nice little pocket so I've got my little card that I'd already done so that can already go in there just sit that down a little bit more there we go like so so I like that because it all matches then we've got these pieces here so I'm going to use my wet glue to stick these down but basically you just want to find which one's going to go where so that one like so now it should fit perfectly if it's a little bit see I think that's going to get a little bit tight at the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another just a tiny little piece off as it gets closer to the top so I'm actually just going to keep the bottom lined up can you see if I bring that up I've actually just got a bit of it hanging out here and that's what I just want to cut away so now I sit that one back on there I just want more of a white yeah so now I've got a much nicer consistent white border all the way around on that piece there so anyway you want that one and then you'll have one to go inside there and then that one to go there and then this one will go inside there so I've got all four and again as I said before if you're using a cardstock for your base that isn't very strong cards like this where there's lots of mats and layers are perfect because they actually then give you the strength that your card needs so don't worry if you're starting off with you know maybe something that's like 160 gsm um you know 80 pound cardstock something like that it will strengthen so i am now going to go and get all of those triangle pieces stuck down okay so that's now all stuck down how lovely does that look it comes together so quickly i really do like this so next just need to finish off your little kind of gift tag part so we need to stick all of that together now i have rounded off just the top um kind of two corners there i haven't done the bottom of by all means obviously you can and you might want to you know do this different you might want to have a bigger you know gift card section or you know you might put a couple of cards in here it's entirely up to you but I'm just going to stick these down and then I've just popped a little bit of glue just on half of that little circle there and just stick that down into the middle and the, the button just gives it a little bit of texture a bit of dimension just something fun to look at and that is now ready yeah put it on the front to go inside like so so you can add some ribbon there if you want as well but I just love that that's kind of a gift all together there you know you've got your card you've got your present it all fits nicely into an envelope obviously it's a little bit bulky just a little bit there so you would have to pay in the UK we would have to pay probably as yes, a large letter price for that but I think it's lovely I think it's a really really nice way to present a gift card and it would work perfectly obviously for any occasion so for birthdays christenings weddings you know lots of people ask for you know um you know uh, money vouchers and, and cards and stuff now these days so yeah i think this card style would work well for lots of occasions so there you have it guys i hope you like this loaded gift card thing <laughs> oh you'll see what i ended up calling it anyway but yeah i really like it if you are new as well to the channel and you've missed um the paper packs that i am using this is the one here so this is jolly holidays so it's getting down now i haven't got too many bits left so i love it really really fun and again all the links and everything will be shared over on my blog and you can find all those links in the video description below but until next time guys please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye